So I want to thank my friend for sharing with me her experience and being big enough to remember. If man could only remember the imaginal acts, she remembered when the roof needed repairs or a new one and the cost was excessively high for them at the moment. She remembered her husband complaining about the pain the new shoes caused. The weight of the tape recorder and then working on the machine, the sewing machine, and it was adequate, it was good, but she would like a new one. And then came out of the nowhere a robbery and took all these movable objects. And then came the insurance that sent the check for 2,000 odd that replaced all the movable objects and enough for the roof and much, much over. So she can actually say, <coughs> forgive them, Father, those who took it. Did they not do her a favor? And yet, they are thieves in their own eyes, and thieves in the eyes of society. <coughs> and they are. You know who played the part? God. And you know who actually made them do what they did? The lady who wrote me the letter. Now she knows the words in that 32nd chapter of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> I, even I, am he. And there is no God beside me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. No matter what happens, if we only had the memory, we could trace it to a forgotten imaginal act on our part.